It's all about online finds today. Welcome back to Shop Talk. I'm Ria Tanwat Cotrillo. We now have with us Sheila Lina. She's the president and CEO of Air21, the company behind online shopping site Shoppingus.com. Hello, Sheila. Hello, Ria. Hi. Thanks for coming on to Shop Talk. Now, okay, tell us a little bit about um, Shoppingus.com. What is it? Shoppingus.com is basically the Philippines' first end-to-end e-commerce platform. So there are listing sites that are already available where you can find things to buy. But then once you go to the site to buy it, you basically have to go off the site, you know, to either pay at, at the bank or, you know, uh, deposit somewhere. And then afterwards, you know, that's when you wait. And then on the merchant side, you will have to arrange for the logistics and then, or you have to meet up, no? Mm -hmm. In, in Shopinas, basically, we try to follow the model in the U.S. where, you know, it's just there, you process the payment through the credit card and then it's delivered via logistics. So with Shopinas, uh, delivery is taken care of by Air 21 and soon FedEx for international deliveries. And then within the site, we already have a payment system. Uh, BDO processes our credit cards and Banknet ATM cards so that uh, you can already, as a merchant, accept these payment options without having to have people deposit straight to your bank account. Oh, okay. So it's, yeah. it's really like a one-stop deal whether yes. you're a consumer or, yes. or um, a Basically, seller. Basically, once you're on Shopiness, you will complete the entire transaction as long as you have a credit or debit card. Okay, what made you guys um, you know, decide to enter this kind of business? Of course, you have sites like Multiply mm -hmm. and even now you have Facebook stores, mm -hmm. you know, which, are, which are very, very strong. So mm -hmm. what made you decide to, to do Shopiness? Interestingly, uh, we discovered on Multiply that Air21 is the preferred logistics provider. Okay. So when we found out about that, you know, I interviewed some of my friends who were actually doing multiply selling and they were telling me the process of how they manage their stores and it was so tedious because they would always man their phones for orders. They were always checking, you know, has their bank been credited with a deposit of the shopper. So we're like, how can we make this better? No? So we decided, let's build a system where all a merchant has to do is check their account and see like, okay, how many orders have come in and they're confident that that has already been funded and then all of th they have to do is process their order and then call Air 20, well, trigger a pickup through the system. Now they'll just say, you know, please pick up all my orders and Air 21 will come pick it up and deliver. Okay, so, so we they wanted don't even to have to call separately yes, for that. Yes, okay. it, it's built into their dashboard. Great, okay. And on your end, how does um, Shopinas and Air 21 make, um, you know, gain revenue from this? I mean, aside from the, the deliveries, obviously, mm -hmm. is there any other um, area where you get revenue? Well, we are going to be charging for the subscriptions. Okay. So to start up, we actually have a free version of the website, of the store. No? Mm -hmm. You can sell up to 21 products. You can display up to 21 products. And that's free for as long as Shopinas will be around. Okay. That's our commitment to basically have people trust us and to start uh, their own online store. Now, after that, if you decide that you want to grow your business with us, we have premium uh, packages, silver, gold, and uh, platinum, starting from one five to three five and that's a monthly subscription that you can upgrade or downgrade at any time you can always go back to free and that's something that uh, we will be earning revenue from and lastly we're looking at ads also now so once we have the traffic that we are happy with then we'll start approaching you know other maybe non shopping us type of merchants mm -hmm. if they want to advertise because they like the people visiting the site, then that's another revenue for us. So who are the merchants that you have so far at Shopping Us? Currently, we are really targeting small, even micro uh, businesses, okay. no? micro, small to medium businesses. So right now we have, um, they're kind of all friends and friends of friends. Okay. Um, my best friend, Trina Castillo, she has bags uh, called Sofia. And then um, one of our developers in the first incarnation uh, is now featuring uh, this uh, no reusable diapers, no, okay. but very cute. It's like lampen, but in bright colors like pink and red and right. green. Yeah, I think I've seen. And those. there, so those are the types of products. And then we have like tennis equipment. We have sort of um, L carnitine green tea and shoes and um, sort of hardware peripheral like electronic stuff. So it's kind of like a mix across the board, but it's um, basically consumer and products. Okay, and how would you, how would you want to expand that later on? You want to keep it at that level, at consumer well, products, or we we do want to uh, reach out to an enterprise level. Mm -hmm. 
So right now, we really want to focus on empowering the small and medium enterprises because I believe that they are the ones that are going to benefit greatly with having a strong online presence because it expands their market like tremendously sure. with, with very little investment. No? But eventually, we want to be able to target the, the large sort of retailers and be their e-commerce provider for them to be using our platform. So we're looking at, you know, the big retailers that okay, the currently bigger, the have. Bigger names. Yeah, so that's developing the enterprise version of that. That's that's further down the lane. Okay, let's say I have a business and mm -hmm. I do want to be on shoppingus.com. Mm -hmm. How do I go about um, creating an online store? Okay, so visit www.shoppingus.com and register on our site as a merchant. And from there, um, you can already start playing with your store. You can create your store using our preset themes. And then to actually go live, we do this verification process where you have to submit a valid ID, government-issued ID, and a TIN. This way we know that, you know, you are a legitimate person and you're not just doing this to, you know, fool people. Right. And then if you want to be featured on the Shopiness website, you need to submit your business docs that you are actually running the store as a business because okay. we want to be a trusted um, source of uh, merchants and sellers. So we, we are really trying to qualify so that if you shop on Shopiness, you know you're going to get what you are looking at. Right. So you mentioned business documents. Specifically, yes. what kind of documents would I need to submit? SEC or DTI registration. So if you're a corporation or a sole prop, basically submitting that. Uh, BIR registration and um, what else is the third? <laughs> Mayor's permit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. All right. And um, how's it been received so far? Very well. Because um, I know you guys only started in the latter half of last year, right? Yes, yes, we did. Uh, we did a soft launch like among friends just to sort of test, you know, how people are receiving it and we can tweak the system. But we went operational by November when we could actually transact, no? And everyone likes it in the sense that it becomes easy because some people who have done like online selling or online buying, it's sort of like, okay, and damning back and forth, you know, with yeah, texting. Yeah, I text you and call you. Yeah. Yes. And, and here, basically, once you've done the transaction, you just have to deal with uh, shopping a CS if there's any issues. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, you just wait for it and it shows up. It's like, wow, you know. Nice, nice like, and easy and simple. And you can do it happy. in one sitting, right? Yes. Okay, how many merchants do you have so far? Currently, we have over 400 registered sellers and then over, let's say, 30 activated. So it's kind of in tiers, no? mm -hmm. depending on how much they have shared of how legitimate their, their operation is. And okay. then right now, we're at 16 verified sellers. Okay. When you say verified, that means they've submitted all yes. the documents. Yes. They can be featured on the They can be featured on the, on the main website. So we're working. Um, one of the things that we want to do is to reach out to all the people who've already registered and say, you know, hey, the opportunity is there, mm -hmm. but we're not going to just feature you right away. You have to also give us, you know, who are you? Right. What is your business all about? And are you registered with the government? So that way, we have confidence in marketing you also to, to the shopiness visitor. Okay, so the 400-something you mentioned who mm -hmm. are just registered, yes. um, they've, they've gone online, they've signed up, but they haven't mm -hmm. really submitted documents yet. Yes. Okay, but people can purchase from them already. No, not yet. Not yet. We, okay, we, won't, we won't let anybody purchase until they at least give us their ID and their TIN. So at okay, least we know the there's... That's minimum Yeah, so that there's a person behind the store. Yeah, fair enough. That's one of the things, Deba, you go online shopping. You're like, who is this person? Now, if it's a friend, then it's easy to trust. Mm -hmm. But what we're doing, hopefully, is we're setting up these small policies so that when they go and shop in us or they know it's a shop in a store, there's that confidence. Like, right. okay, you know, at least shop in us is vouching for these, for these sellers. Right. Now, I'm sure you yourself like to shop, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say are the best online finds on the site? For me, mm -hmm. well, I'm kind of biased because I, I love my friend Trina and your, Virginia. Your best friend who sells the bags. Yes, <laughs> so th selling bags, uh, I, I, I love bags. Um, but for me, what really inspired me to do this is I used to live in the States and I used to shop a lot online, online. On, in the States and just everything, you know, from Amazon to all the beauty Kikai stuff. And it just, it's that joy, you know what I mean? Like you swipe, you, you know, you just input your credit card and then... You, you know, know it's on its way. <laughs> it, you know it's on its way and then when it comes, you know, you're like, woohoo, it's here. Yeah. And so uh, 
I have some awesome stuff that you know you just can't go to the mall and buy it because it's some unique sort of item or you get really good deals and hopefully that's the kind of experience that we want to bring here mm -hmm. that especially we're a country of islands no so we're hoping that you know especially as we roll this out that other uh, entrepreneurs in various parts of the country who would never think of being able to sell to like people in Metro Manila or in Cebu or Davao you know we can now start selling to each other and discovering each uh, unique products that our countrymen have to offer. Okay, definitely sounds like a good deal. Sheila, thank you for coming on Shop Talk and best of luck with shoppiness.com. Thank you so much, Ria. All right, and thank all of you for watching Shop Talk. I'm Ria Tanwat Cotridio. Please follow ANC Shop Talk on Twitter and be a fan of ANC Shop Talk on Facebook. Join us again tomorrow and enjoy the rest of your day.